ako orong dito and I said I would stake my honor my life and even the presidency Good afternoon, Malacanang Press Corps. Kasama na natin si Chief Presidential Legal Counsel, Salvador Panelo. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Malacanang Press Corps. I'm ready if you are. MPC Raymond? <coughs> sir, just your reaction to the arrest of uh, Rappler CEO Maria Reza early this morning because of the anti-dummy law alleged violation. She is complaining again that she is being arrested. All are equal before the law. She wants to be treated differently. That cannot be done. All warrants of arrest issued by competent courts are to be served the way it was served to her this morning. And warrants of arrest are not issued unless the court's judges determine there is a probable cause, which means due process has been observed. So she cannot be complaining that this is, again, a violation of press freedom. Press freedom has nothing to do with the charges against Ms. Reza. She's charged of a crime and there is a determination of probable cause, hence a warrant of arrest has been issued. She should concentrate on defending herself in court. Thank you, sir. She cannot be always using the freedom of the press as an excuse to attack the administration. MPC, may you follow up about um, Reza? Other issue? Yes, Tor. Secretary, good morning. Um, P PNP Chief Albayalde said this morning that he is in favor of releasing the list of celebrities linked to illegal drugs, while PDA Chief Aquino said um, he he will do so if the president will order him to release uh, the list of celebrities. What is now the position of President Rodrigo Duterte in, in as far as this issue is concerned? I haven't talked to the president regarding this, but I suppose he, she will be deciding whether or not to release it. He will weigh the considerations. Follow up, uh, Raymond, then Hannah. Pero Malakas po kasi yung public clamor. They want to know, other than the narco-politicians, narco-judges, and narco-prosecutors, they also want to know yung sino-sino uh, yung mga, lalo, mga influential figures, mga ito. They want to know who are into the drugs. So once it is verified, yung list na yun ng PDEA and PNP, so are you considering uh, releasing also the names of those uh, narco showbiz personalities? And this is a public clamor. Who's clamor? Yung mga, clamoring for what? Yeah, gusto nilang malaman sir, sa mga comments pag mga sa programs sa sa social media. Gusto nilang makita yung ilabas din to be fair din sa mga napangalanan na sa narco list. Uh, I guess the, the president will have to determine whether or not he will direct the release of the personalities name therein. Uh, what what could be the reason of why or possible not releasing the names? Oh, I, do, I do not know. I cannot read the mind of the president as of this time with respect to that. I have to ask him whether or not he will order the release or not. But from your answer, aren't you in favor of uh, uh, letting the public also know the showbiz personalities into drugs? I guess my personal opinion on the matter will not matter. It's the president's decision. What I can say is that 
The reason why the list of the so-called narco politicians names were released is because the president doesn't want them to hold power and strengthen the illegal drug industry in this country. Apart from the Constitution gives the people the right to be informed of any matter that concerns them, especially relative to their welfare and health. Uh, so if you're a private citizen, uh, you are supposed or you are excused of being named public? No, that's what, what I said was that was the reason. Whether or not it will apply to the new list involving personalities, I do not know. That will depend on the president. Thank you, sir. Okay, follow up, Hannah, then Julie. Hi, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Sir, you think I consider ng Pangulo, since yung mga celebrities sir, um, nilook up ng maraming tao, especially ng mga youth today, kung sila po involved sa illegal drugs, consider ng Pangulo na pangalanan sila? All factors will be considered by the President. So we will have to await his decision on the matter. Hindi naman dahil sa uh, private citizen sila, kaya sila medyo iba yung pagtingin or pareho talaga yung pagtingin ng Pangulo sa lahat po ng involved sa drug, whether politician ka or celebrity ka or ordinary citizen. Again, I will repeat, the President will weigh the pros and the cons and decide. Julie? Sir, may I just get the palace's reaction to the report that some of the celebrities who were included in the drug list reportedly uh, approached uh, senatorial candidate Bato de la Rosa for help or protection. Sought the help of Bato yeah. de la Rosa? Yeah. Protection what? Like what? They were, so they were afraid for their lives or for their reputation. Uh, I, I do not know of that. I, I have not received any info on that. Uh, that has to be validated. Okay, sir. On a related topic, uh, what's the policy's take on Senator Ping Lakson's request or uh, urging for the Dangerous Drugs Board to conduct a survey on just how many drug addicts are in the country? I suppose we have. We have already approved on that. This part of the job of the Dangerous Drugs Board. They're supposed to receive information coming from PDEA, from PNP. I think it's a matter of asking it to release whatever information they have with respect to what you referred to earlier. So there's already a survey uh, from uh, no, conducted by the DDB on the drug situation in the country? I think that should, that should come as a matter of course. I mean, if you're involved in the law enforcement with respect to drugs, then you must have some statistics okay. as to how many are involved, how many are addicted, how many have been arrested, how many have been charged. That's part of the territory of every law enforcement agency will the assigned to that. Will the palace be telling the DDB to expedite the release of these statistics? I suppose if there is a request, then we will have to respond to the request. Sir, on another, uh, another related issue, um, President Duterte earlier this week said that the drug situation in the Philippines has worsened. What's the policy's <clears throat> take on this? Uh, do, we, uh, do, we, uh, do we have actual figures? Yes, what he means when he said that it's worsened is because the number of entry of prohibited drugs. You recall that there were two huge confiscation of prohibited drugs that enter the country, 2.6 billion worth, was a three point something. In other words, that is why he said that. But as correctly stated by PDEA Director General Aquino, it shows also that we're succeeding because we can stop that such big amount, equivalent amount, that is coming to the Philippines. 
to clarify, sir, so the president does not, it was only referring to the entry of smuggled drugs into the country and not the the number of drug addicts or drug users. I think so, yes. Because okay. with respect to the dismantling of many factories, mm -hmm. we have succeeded in that. Mm -mm. Does the palace think, sir, that the president has an accurate picture of the drug situation? Does what? Does the president have an accurate picture of the drug situation? Oh, definitely, country? considering that he's the president of the country, he has unlimited sources coming from within and without. Okay, Raymond. Sir, uh, patanong lang ng kalaban kong network. What <laughs> advice... <laughs> Sino ba kalaban mo network? <laughs> what, what advice will you give the president as the chief presidential legal counsel? About what? On uh, going back to the release of the narco list on the showbiz personalities, my advice has not been sought. I only give advice when it is asked for. <laughs> Walang unsolicited advice. What What would be your possible advice once you are sought? <laughs> <laughs> when the advice is sought, then I will give you my potential. Response. Thank you, sir. Follow up, Maricel. Sir, ano na lang, what's your message to the <laughs> celebrities involved you know, in you the know, I'll, drug I'll, I'll list? I'll tell you something. You remember that uh, law professor that was here? The foreigner? The foreigner? He's actually an Indiana law professor. He wanted to see how we conduct our press briefing. And then after that, we, we had lunch, and he told me, you know what? Those reporters ask the same question in 12 different ways, but it's the same question. So, you, sir. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, Yes, sir. So, so what's your I, answer, I'm giving sir? also the same response. <laughs> And this, sir, what, what message can you give to the celebrities involved in the, oh, the drug list? Is, I mean, of course, you should, should they not be, be wary? Involved. The message is you should not. You have to rehabilitate yourselves. You cannot be doing that because you're destroying your own selves. Will this uh, serve as a warning to them, sir? Definitely, because <laughs> if they will not warn themselves about their involvement, certainly it will be destructive of their own health, destructive of their own family, and certainly they'll be losing their adoring fans. Okay, Hannah. Sir, is there a possibility na hindi ma ilabas yung pangalan ng mga celebrities kung nagparihab na po sila or any assurance mula sa side po nila na sila po ay uh, users po ng illegal drugs, pero since hindi pa naman napapangalan ng government, let's say, gumawa sila ng um, agreement with the government, uh, wag kami pangalanan, magbabago kami, or something like that. Another way of asking whether we possible? will release it or not. <laughs> <laughs> and then, sir, sa side nila, what if, kasi yung nagbigay kayo ng advice, diba, na submit yourself for rehab, what, kung ano, kasi some of them are iniisip siguro nila na uh, number one, mawalan sila ng uh, fans. Anak buhay. Pag nag, pahig, pinangalanan sila. So, anong ngayon ang tanong? Pag sila po ba ang nag-submit for rehab, hindi na sila papangalanan po. Ah, yun ang hindi ko alam. Kasi the decision to release Or open him, ba tayo? The, the, decision, the decision will be dependent on the president again. He will be weighing all considerations. Okay, other, other follow up and then Joyce and then other issue na tayo, si Rosalie. Sir, if they, if they decide to surrender and ask government for help, for rehabilitation, will the government help them? Well, certainly, hindi ba meron tayong mga rehabilitation centers? Precisely, there is a two-pronged approach to solving the drug industry in this country. One is to dismantle the apparatus, and number two, to rehabilitate those who have been addicted to the same. To what <clears throat> extent, sir, yung ibibigay nating tulong sa kanila? Would that cover um, not oh. releasing the list anymore, provided that they will undergo the rehabilitation program? <laughs> Nandun na naman tayo sa list, ano? <laughs> well, 
<clears throat> the help would be extended to them if they ask for it. They're willing to rehabilitate themselves. Sir, uh, will the president likely release the names will of what? celebrities? Will? Likely. Will likely. the president likely <laughs> release the names? That's the ninth way of asking the same question. But, <laughs> but sir, just... Uh, Will it not be viewed as special treatment to celebrities po? Kasi parang it takes time to release the names nga po. Eh, we will wait for the president's judgment on that. So, sir, <laughs> this is not a special treatment po? No, the president doesn't give special treatment to anyone if you have noticed. May follow-up pa sa... Wala na. Oh, other, is other issue na tayo, Rose. Good afternoon, sir. Yes. The Makabayan Bloc is planning to question the loan agreements of the Philippines with China as well as to stop the Chico River irrigation project. So how does the palace react to well, this? Po? The palace always <clears throat> welcomes any, any move to question its action if they feel... It's not within the law. Will this hamper the projects of the Duterte administration, sir? Are you confident po na magpupush despite the plans to ask the Supreme Court to stop this well, certain if there project? Is, if there is no order from the Supreme Court stopping it, then it's a go. In relation din po dyan sa topic, kahapon po nabanggit po ni Senior Associate Justice Carpio na chinecheck po ng China yung email surveillance against the Senior Associate <laughs> No, I Justice. think he said that in jest. He was making the, us all there laugh. Kasi nagkaroon ng black, black brown out, ma black out. Pero ay sir, yung I was expecting that eh. Sabi ko, kasi kung ako nandun, yun din ang sasabihin ko. Pero sir, I think the joke was about yung pong presentation at saka yung sudden brand out. Pero po yung fact na minomonitor po siya. Hindi, kasama yun. Kasama yun sa joke. So you're confident, sir, na yung mga officials such as uh, SAJ Carpio are, is not monitored by the Chinese government? Uh, I have no personal knowledge of that. I do not know whether other countries are monitoring us. <clears throat> I do not even know whether they have the capability of monitoring every single high official in this country. But the president himself, himself said before na siya man, alam niya rin na minomonitor po siya ng mga bansang may capability na i-survey. Eh, siguro, eh, educated uh, guest niya yon sa tingin ko. Hindi natin, actually, hindi natin malalaman yon unless biglang... Minilabas, meron tayong ginagawa na ilabas nila. So But I suppose foreign countries will be, or countries do that, especially kung kalaban nila. Okay, follow up, Joyce. Sir, yesterday, um, various environmental and indigenous groups convened in a press con in Quezon City and they're urging their president to do a mahatir and suspend Um, agreements with China, uh, particularly po yung Kaliwada. So sabi nila kasi, since hindi naman doon si President yung main signatory doon sa agreement with China, he can call for the suspension just like what a uh, uh, Malaysian Prime Minister did with some of the projects uh, with China. Uh, the President will consider all the suggestions and then decide <clears throat> eventually whether he will respond favorably or not. The President is always open to that. He listens. I'm busy questions. Ralph, then Tina. Uh, sir, mabalik lang po kay Reza. Sir, uh, kay? In a, kay Reza po. Ah, mm. uh, sir, in a tweet, she said na yung panibago pong arrest sa kanya is a violation of the Bill of Rights and Philippine Constitution. <laughs> sir, any comment po? I already responded to that. How can it be a violation of the Bill of Rights? When she was charged, there was a preliminary investigation on that. And then probable cause was determined by the office of the prosecutor or the DOJ. And then 
an information has been filed and prior to an issuance of a warrant of arrest, another determination by the judge handling the case will be made. And there is such a determination of probable cause. So due process has been observed. Okay, uh, Tina? Sir, good afternoon po. Sir, mm -hmm. has the president started his review on the national budget po? I suppose, yes, uh, he's gone back to work from his birthday yesterday. Sir, follow up lang po. Uh, Senate President Vicente Soto po uh, expressed confidence that the president will veto the 75 billion post-ratification alignments. Now po, uh, your reaction? Well, the president, as again, as we said, he will evaluate, review, analyze every provision of the national budget and decide for himself whether or not he will approve it in toto or exercise his veto power. Thank you, sir. Okay, we follow up on budget. Other issue? Um, yeah, please. Uh, state your name, please. Earl Roque, sir, from Philippine News Agency. Good afternoon. Uh, Good may afternoon. we get the palace reaction on NSA Esperon formally writing to the EU to immediately cease its funding being funneled to groups allegedly acting as legal fronts of the CPP NPA? He's what? He's asking the EU? He formally wrote to the EU ah. to, to immediately cease its funding being funneled to groups allegedly acting as legal fronts of the CPP. Uh, he should. I mean, uh, the EU should. Because the funding will be used in destabilizing the government. If these are legal fronts, <clears throat> and their main purpose is to break down the government, then the EU, who's funding it, should reconsider. Thank you, sir. Okay, MPC questions? Raymond. Kaibigan. Tatanong lang kaibigan. Sir, ano ang channel uh, ba, Raymond? Di ko, hanggang ngayon, di ko alam yata channel mo. Bombo Radio. Ay, sino ba kalaman ng Bombo Radio? DCMM? Hindi. Ha? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir? <laughs> Kung, ano ba? <laughs> ano daw ginagawa ng gobyerno sa kaso ng 48 na Pinoy na nasa death row sa Malaysia? Thanks. Oh, I think the Secretary of Labor is doing something about that. Right. We're waiting, in fact, for his report of the latest. So, assurance na hindi pabayaan. Oh, definitely. We will not. Okay. We will always respond to the call of distress from any OFW. Thank you, sir. Okay. MPC, may tanong pa kayo? Oh, Rosalie. Sir, may resolusyon na po na inihain sa Senado para investigahan po yung dating economic advisor Michael Young. Nagkausap na po ba kayo ng Pangulo tungkol kay Michael Young, sir? No. But, di ba, Michael Young has already been cleared by PDEA and by the PNP. Di ba sinasabi nga nila, ba? ibang Michael Young yata yung sinasabi nung asyerto. So, Enough na po yun para po wag na pong magsagawa ng ibang investigasyon patungkol kay Michael Young. You mean Congress? Well, Congress has the right to investigate. Pari po yung nabanggit nyo, yung law enforcement agencies, no need since na-clear clear na ng PNP and PDEA. Kung PDN. yun ang kanilang findings, eh, bakit pa sila ma... In fact, kaya yun ang findings nila kasi inimbestigahan in nila yun. Hmm. Do you know, sir, kung nandito pa po sa bansa si Michael hindi ko, Yang? Hindi ko alam. Okay, sir. Okay. MPC, no more questions? Vance, may question ka? Wala na? Oh. <laughs> Timeless beauty uh, nga. But, sir, wala ko, wala regarding dun sa, ano, kay Michael Yang, yes. uh, sinabi daw po ng umano ng Dabao Chamber of Commerce, they don't know Michael Young. And sinasabi naman na nakaregister sa SEC yung mga negosyo niya. 
Uh, ano pong masasabi ng palasyo? Baka hindi siya member this? ng Davao Chamber of Commerce. Eh, di ba, Denying kasi na negosyante po siya ng eh, Davao. Voluntary lang naman ang paging miyembro ng mga ganyang organization. Ah, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Oh, by thank the way, you. by the way, before I forget, I'd like to thank Attorney Corbia. <laughs> Antonio. Oh, Antonio din. Antonio Pastor for entertaining us in Batanga City when we were there. We were we were ushered to his beautiful antique mansion. I've never seen such a beautiful antique mansion. Ano ha? Parang may git ng 100 years pero na maintain pa rin. Thank you attorney Tony Pastor. Okay, MPC no more questions. Okay, thank you Chief Presidential Legal Counsel Salvador Panela. Thank you, MPC. Happy weekend. Back to our main studio sa Radio Pilipinas and People's Television Network. Now I can have my breakfast. Wow.